lovies what the wretch is up fam if you're new here my name is terry ann or ta and i'm a connecticut based lifestyle youtuber and you are watching my channel and today is tuesday march 26 2024 and it is a very special day i think i may have talked about this before like a long time ago in my vlogs um but on tuesdays uh, Mike and I do this thing called Terry Tuesdays and on Wednesdays we do white guy Wednesdays he didn't want to do Mike Mondays because he just didn't want to do it on Mondays so it's white guy Wednesdays okay that's just what it is um, Tuesdays are Terry Tuesdays and basically on these days of the week Tuesdays and Wednesdays Mike and I have the evening off from parenting I, whenever we tell our friends this they love the idea they're always just like we gotta do this in our household but that means that today is Tuesday and now that I am done with work I have absolutely zero parenting responsibilities there is nothing that I have to do in the house or anything associated with being a mom I can do whatever I want to do so Right now, now that Penny goes to school, the, the deal is whoever's day it is has to go pick her up and then bring her home, and then you're free to do whatever you want. So today, I'm about to go pick up Penny from school right now, and then um, next Sunday is Easter Sunday, so I'm going to go get some stuffing for the, East, the girls' Easter baskets. But, you know, I could do whatever I want. I could go to a restaurant. I could go to a movie. I could go sit in Wendy's parking lot and listen to a podcast. I've actually done that. Um, in the past, I got a library card and I would just go to the library and read and pick new books. And, you know, I could meditate. I could work out. I could literally do whatever I want. But I'm going to do the Easter baskets. And I am going to um, do some social media stuff. And I'm also going to do, what was it that I was going to do? Oh God, I forget, but I'll, I'm taking you along with me um, on this Terry Tuesday so you guys can see what it's like. It really is the best mental health break in the middle of the week, and it helps break up the week, and it gives you something to look forward to, and I highly, highly recommend it for all parents, especially parents of young kids. So, like, today is going to be hard for Mike because that means he is doing everything for both kids like he's a single dad today. Um, and then to make sure that there's no resentment, I do the same thing tomorrow. We switch roles. And one of the rules is it cannot be on a weekend because that's just not fair somehow. So it only has to be like you can only do these days between Monday and Friday. So, um, yeah, I don't know. If you guys do something like this. Oh, Mike's calling. Hello? Hey. Hey. Uh, you want to bring our pennies home? Yeah, I'm going to bring Penny home. Um, so yeah, that is Terry Tuesday. Let me go get our Penny and bring her home. just left um five below and this is my first time in a five below since i was in college i went to five below once when i was in philly because i had never heard of it before my roommate like swore by it and she took me to one and i haven't been back since um and so i was just getting stuff for the easter basket i was literally just gonna go get some stuffing for the easter basket and pulled up into five below and bought so much more than that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home now I also stopped and got a lottery ticket because it is one point like one billion dollars now and then I got you know my drink so I'm gonna go home now and um, kind of finalize their Easter baskets and show you all the things that I got for the girls for Easter and eat some pizza and then just like do some chores and I'll just take you like around Penny used the potty. We are so proud of you, P-Dog. 
While I was gone, my big girl became a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that that's what that means. <laughs> But I'm Thank willing you. to be wrong. <laughs> she used the body. Mike, ah! tell us what happened, how it went. So, Penny was in the kitchen, like per usual, and anyone who has a toddler knows this, like hiding, going to the corner, mm -hmm. trying to poop, trying to gain leverage by holding on to things. <laughs> yeah, I love that. And nothing was happening. Like, she just, like, it was like maybe four minutes. Yeah. And she was so frustrated. Yeah. And then, I, so I walked over to her. I usually just give her space. Yeah. I walked over to her. I was like, do you want to go on the toilet? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go on the potty? And she goes, uh, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I put her on. One second later, she pooped into the toilet. Oh, my goodness. P-Dog. I think daycare has done a lot of the uh, pre-training for that. Oh, 100%. To allow for that to happen. But it was 100%. so smooth. Oh. But, but, yeah, so I think. Uh, Careful. I mean, I'm yeah, sure there's still going to so be. Yeah, so proud of you. There's still going to be poops in diapers, I'm sure of it. But yeah, it was, it's not going to happen like, overnight. She, um, we, I literally just got her this, like potty step stool thing so that she can go on her own because right job, now man. we use the seat and we put it on the toilet and then we pick her up and put her on it but i want her to feel like independently because she is also doing this thing where she takes off her pants if she does like use it in her diaper so she knows how to pull it off so i want her to be able to like climb up pull down her pants and sit on the toilet without okay. help so I ordered this. I started putting it together before I picked her up, but basically this is going to go over our toilet and there's like a little step ladder for her to step on and then sit on the toilet on her own. Can you guys believe that we're already at that stage of Penny's life? Like, I feel like I had her yesterday and I know people always comment and they're just like, I can't believe she's growing up so fast. You were like pregnant with her like so recently. And I feel the same way that you guys feel. Like, it's it's really flying by for me, too. Like, I cannot believe she's doing this. And another milestone. Gigi rolled over from back to belly, which is a huge one. Okay, so Mike and the kids are upstairs. They're about to do the bedtime back time routine. And I'm about to hang out down here in the living room, eat some pizza, watch my shows, and, like, just do some things that I find relaxing personally. Penny ate dinner here in the living room. Um, and this is kind of the outcome of that. So I'm gonna clean this up, even though I don't have to, but I'm gonna clean this up uh, before I get started and um, kind of take advantage of this time. So let me just do that really quickly. show you guys what I have for the girls Easter baskets so these Easter baskets I got from Marshall's I got the Easter baskets and everything that's in them right now from Marshall's and so let me just go through it this one is this one is Gigi's Easter basket um, so I have some stuff in here that's pennies so I got her that cute basket, which I will be reusing. And then I got her this little funny How Much I Love You book. And it's kind of like those baby books. It's like a little teeter, essentially, with like things and crinkles, things you can chew on. So I'll take that out of the packaging. Um, I got this little book for her and then my baby for her little bookshelf in her room. And I think it'll be cute to read to her bedtime stories. And then I got this one, Babies Love Easter. And just another cute little picture book for Gigi. Has little pop out stuff. And then I got her a bunch of headbands. She's about to be in her headband era. Her head's big enough and she's, they're so soft. And then I got her this thing. It's like one of those things that you do tummy time on. You can like look in the mirror and like look in. It's like a little activity thing. Same with uh, a gift from her aunt or from her Grammy. I can't remember. But there was one for Penny and one for Gigi. So I'm just going to stick them in here as decor. I think that's really cute. 
And then, yeah, the basket is just super adorable as well. So this one is hers. I think the basket was, yeah, $9.99. I got it super early. I was like, I need to be on top of Easter this year, so. So this is Penny's basket. They have different ones. So this is Penny's basket. Hers is pink. Um, I got her a bunch of socks. She, like, I don't know, like, the washing machine eats her socks. So she has some socks here. And then I got her. Hers are, her things are more fun because she's older. Um, I got this camera. It takes 50 photos without a memory card. Um, and so it's just basically a kid's camera. Picture a perfect kid's camera. I think that'll be really fun. She loves my camera, so. And then I got her this little kit so that we can paint bunnies on Easter. Just a little activity for her. Um, this is the pink little version of the thing that I just showed you. Um, I got her this Happy Easter Mouse book. It's like another little themed book for her to read. And another book for her shelf. Um, she loves Bluey. So I have this coloring book for Bluey and it has stickers as well. I think every kid loves Bluey right now. And to be honest, I love Bluey. Like, it's such a good show. And then there is this little uh, puzzle that is um, the alphabet. So obviously trying to teach her that stuff. I'm gonna show you what I got from Five Below. I got this squishy spikes ball. Uh, I'm gonna put one of each into their uh, baskets. Obviously Gigi can't really play with this. Uh, I think I'll let her touch it and like fiddle around with it, but mostly for Penny. I got these eggs that I thought were really cool. They're furry eggs and they twist open and you can fill them. I wasn't gonna get them things to fill, but I'm gonna put some of the stuff that I got from here, from Five Below, into the egg and put this egg into their separate baskets. So they're just like really cute. Let me open it. I saw them and I was like, this is so cool. So they're just like Easter eggs that you open up. They're furry and they're pink and purple. And I thought that was just super cool. So they each get one. Oh, this is the Bible study book that I found there. Um, $5 and I'm excited. My Bible is in the attic, so I need to go get it. And then I want to do this like every morning. Mornings are kind of crazy, but I do have some downtime. So I want to do a Bible study and I was looking for, for a while, for years now, I've been looking for a book that guided me throughout the year, but what is that? I think Penny threw a toy in the lamp. I'm not even afraid to look. Um, I got this for Mike. So I'm going to fill this for him as well for Easter. I got these scented felt tip pens for myself in my office. I'm excited to use them. I have this stuffing to fill the bottom of their baskets. So I'm going to do that. And I have these candies for, for Mike. So... So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fill their baskets and I'll show you guys how they turn out. Okay, so this is basically how they turned out. Ugh, I wish the lighting was better, but I'll show you guys in the daytime as well. But I love it. I use the socks as stuffing for certain areas, as you can see there. And um, I put the camera and the squishy ball in here. And yeah. I really love it. I think I really like how it all came out. Welcome to second shift. It's <laughs> Saturday, March 30th, 2024. And the second shift is what I refer to um, as the time after we put the kids down and we get the minor chores done around the house. <laughs> um, so we, we just put down both kids at 7.49 right now. And like I said, it's March 30th. Tomorrow is Easter. And it's a big day because it's Gigi's first Easter. Um, Gigi turns five months old tomorrow. And it's our first Easter with two girls. And I made them Easter baskets. So I'm really excited about that. And literally just today, I decided that I was going to decorate the dining room for them for Easter morning. With their easter baskets so um i think i showed you guys yes i definitely showed you guys like how i made the easter baskets 
and when I got some of the things for them. So I'm just gonna go into the dining room right now and kind of set up where they're gonna go. Mike actually surprised me with with this. Um, it's been on the dining room table ever since. But this week I got, I think it was on Friday, this arrived. So it's the Rev Air Tension like hair dryer thing. Um, and it's supposed to like cut your drying time in half. I've seen it all over Instagram and stuff, but I never like believed it until a friend of mine actually posted herself using it. And she has the same hair texture as me and it really works on her hair. So I was like, oh my God. I was like talking about how much I wanted it. And then I had a wash day the other day and it took forever. And I was talking to Mike about it. And I was like, oh my God, if I had this red hair thing, it would not take this long, it would be so fast. And um, like I think a week or two later, this arrives. So very, very, very happy. pretty simple it's just gonna be the lavender the little green bunny and then the bunny the easter baskets and the only thing that i'm doing is i'm going to take the helium tank and i'm going to blow up some pastel colored balloons and tie them to the handle of the easter baskets um but i'm not gonna blow them up tonight because i learned my lessons from penny's second birthday if you guys remember me talking about that um because last time they deflated overnight so i'm just gonna get it all set up and then before they come down tomorrow morning i'm gonna blow them up with the helium tank tie them to the easter baskets and then put them down okay this is what the final product is looking like The girls are upstairs and ready, so let's go surprise them. Wait one second. Wait one second. Wow! Look! The Easter Bunny came! The Easter Bunny came, Penny! This one's yours! And that one's Gigi's! Bunny get you. Oh no. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot one more Easter present for Da. Here. Wow, you got a bunch of socks. This one's for Da. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Trust in our wings. Penny has decided to take it. No, well, that's candy, so she can't have that one. Gigi, Gigi, do you want to open yours? Thank you for the Easter gift. You're so welcome. You want to open yours? Penny, there's so much more in your in your thing. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Yeah. Even if the sky is falling down. You want to see what else you have? Yeah. Even if the sky is falling down. We have an yeah. Easter book. Yeah. And look, we're going to eat these today. This is really nice. Yeah. We're going to eat these today, okay? But there's a cool part too. success uh 
I, it went basically better than I even hoped for. Penny is super excited. Gigi loves her toy. Her entire chest is wet. But her onesie says, my first Easter, doesn't it? And, and uh, Mike got all of their outfits. He went on Carter's and he got them an entire matching set. I'm going to have to get Gigi out of hers because she's soaked through this. And she's soaked through her little chewing book. She's teething pretty hard right now. Um, but she does have a matching pajama set that I'm going to change her into that matches Penny. Um, and yeah, Penny is loving all of her things. Um, and I'm just so happy that they're happy. You guys know what it's like, you know. Motherhood is just wanting them to be as happy as possible, right? Are you guys happy? Oh, oh, oh. This isn't a toy, Gigi. No, 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 Gigi. This is. Uh oh, is right. Uh oh. Yeah, the baby did it. Uh oh. Here you go, Gigi. I'll turn you around because you want to be with. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. <laughs> Did you get her an ice cream? That she's not. <laughs> Oh gosh, you guys, as you can see, we are at the park. This is my first time talking to the camera because it has been chaos. Chaos to get us at the house. When we got here, everyone was crying in the ice cream truck, but I ran around in a circle around the playscape and Gigi is asleep. And Mike and Penny have finished their ice cream. I think you could just see Penny went down the slide like a big girl. Did you do it? Yeah. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. Uh, she could use wipes, hand wipes. She's so dirty. Oh God, I'm terrible. I didn't bring anything. Good job, Penny. Wow. Great job, Penny. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's okay. Put it on here. That's okay. That's okay. It's totally okay. Here you go. Whoa. You're so good at that. Oh, boy. Hey, guys. So, it is now uh. the end of the day. And I wish I could say that... Any part of today got easier, but it did not. It did not get any easier today. Um, it was just as busy and just as hectic and just as chaotic as it was the whole day. Um, um, but, you know, it was a good day. It was our first Easter as a family of four. Um, and we are blessed. We are blessed with a beautiful home healthy, occasionally happy children. Um, and we are just so lucky and so grateful. So even when it's chaotic and crazy and stressful and annoying, it is the life that we love right now and the life that we're living. So, oh, okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna go. Okay. I know, I know. Look at, look at, look, look at what you look like. Is this who you want to be? Is this who you want to be? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please go ahead, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. That you don't find cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality